I am bringing you another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial. Okay, so this tutorial, I, it'll just be a short one telling you and showing you how to add the indicator lights between the button and the door. Really basic, but makes your level look a lot more professional and makes it sort of make sense if you have a large amount of um, output and input sort of entities. So first things first, go now into your uh, materials browser and type in indicator here into the filter and select the signage slash indicator lights slash indicator lights floor or wall depending if you put it on the floor or a wall. We want to select the overlay tool on the side underneath the decal tool. Then we want to place them in a line. I think I need four for that. And then just straighten them up so it doesn't look bad. And there we go. Nice and straight. Now you want to give each one of these the same name. So in the name thing give that light notice the uh, you change the name with when you have multiple ones the name will go bold which is what you want okay so once they're all called light you want to go to the entity tool and create a env for environment underscore texture toggle there you can just type in texture and it should come up and click apply I want to call this something I'll just call it switcher and you want to set its target brushes to the light to the indicator, the name you gave to the indicator lights. And once you've done that, almost done, go to the button, go to the outputs, select add, go on pressed, you want the switcher to set texture index with a parameter override of 1. And click apply. Then add a second one and select on unpressed. You want the switcher to set texture index to a parameter of zero. What this does is tells the switcher to tell its target ident uh, target overlay that you've made there to change its parameters from zero which is what it's at default to one and then back again when you get off back to zero so it will go back to blue and once you've done all that it should look something like this when you run and compile the map by pressing F9 or going file run map and then hitting OK okay so back in our world you see the lights ordered nicely along there, go from the button to the door and you hop on this button, they should go orange, yes they do and door off ones and when you get off they go back to blue if this is, if yours does this and you've done it correctly if it doesn't then obviously you haven't and yeah if you want to put corners in select uh, there's an overlay which is called something like indicators lights corner and that's just the little aperture science symbol 
then you just put that on the corners so it replaces one of these circles and it just looks you know that's what happens in the game so it just looks a little bit nicer and yeah so that's how you add professional looking indicator lights to all of your maps there's a cube over there which doesn't really do anything right now but yeah um, stay tuned for more tutorials I'll probably post another one up very soon with the next few hours of this one releasing and yeah so see you next time this is James from Squid Gaming hope you learned something I'm only going to say it once this time and see you in the next video bye